Looks like we're transitioning to Castle Black. Damn, the wall looks gigantic. Oh, and it's our boy, Garrett Tuttle. Wonder how long it's going to take to run into Jon Snow. I'd be interested to see kind of what characters, if they have other characters from the show in the Night's Watch in this game. You know, I don't know if Sam's going to be there. I'm sure they're not going to have too much overlap with the characters just because I know they want to tell their own story. But we will see. We know Jon Snow for sure is in this game. Castle Black. So this is the seat of the Night's Watch. Looks like somebody's taking the lift to the top of the wall. And look at this dude in the little walkway area just chilling, mugging us right now. Recruits at the, the wall. gate! Always wanted to see it, but not like this. And it was a ways back. I think it was the first episode, but Garrett and Duncan Tuttle had a little convo, and that's when they were talking about the North Grove and all that business. And there's Talia's necklace. Garrett taking a look. But I remember Duncan was saying he might call upon us for help, and he was like, you gotta become a ranger. That will be good if you're a ranger. So, I don't know if the North Grove, if that's beyond the wall, maybe? Who knows, we'll find out. Your arrival, is it? Another one for Frostfinger. On a horse, no less. On a horse, no less. Look at these two dudes, they look like they're scheming. In the back corner there, chatting. Got a couple dudes training. That looks like the main trainer dude there, or at least one of them. Couple more guys training. I don't see anybody recognizable. Definitely Sam not running around somewhere. Okay, you just gonna run into me like that? That's how it's gonna be? Dude's trying to punk Garrett already. He's been here 25 seconds. Looks like it was built by giants, doesn't it? You're new, here to take the black. Because you got that look about you. Aye, I am. Thought so. I'm new here myself. Frostfinger, he's the one you want. Handles all new recruits. Which one's Frostfinger? That grizzled old prune over there. Says us new recruits are all dead men. But don't let him scare you. <laughs> That's just his way. You seem nice. That's not so good round here. That is definitely a true statement. Not sure if that guy's gonna kind of be our boy, our Sam, to Jon Snow. You fight like a girl. A woggling girl, maybe. <laughs> Let's go say what's up to Frostfinger. He's chilling up at the top of the steps, me mugging everybody down below. You're Frostfinger. You recruits. You come, you train, you fight, you die. Who are you, boy? I was a squire. I served Lord Forrester of Ironrath. A squire from Ironrath. And how does a squire get himself sent to the wall? You are a thief. A raper. You abandon your post. I killed the men who murdered my family. Then you know how to fight, at least. And you're no liar, either, Garrett Tuttle. How do you know my name? From Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of House Forester. My uncle wrote to the Night's Watch. He goes on for a bit, but then he asks us to make you a ranger. As if it's a knighthood. So you see, Tuttle, I know all about you. You are a killer. Even if you are man enough to own up to it. Yes, sir. Now then, we'll start your training in the morning. For today, you need a cot and a cloak. Understood. Oh, and Tuttle, sooner or later, the Night's Watch will be your death. When it comes, try to make it quick. Well, Frostfinger sure is a cheery fella. And last we'd heard, Asher was in Slaver's Bay. So, Malcolm caught a ship headed for... I heard they took him off a corpse cart. <laughs> and he's missing his arms and legs. 
At least they can still eat and shit. The White Hill soldiers are drunk again. And we have too few men to handle them. Let's just get to the Great Hall. I cannot wait to give White Hill what is coming, dude. That dude is such a punk. Well, I say he's dead. And they've dressed up some peasant in his place. Fill me up, would you? And bring you some salted pork while you're at it. <laughs> Fill yourself up, you lazy fuck. Is that him? Has to be, doesn't it? He's hideous. <laughs> Had a run-in with Walder cool. Frey, did you? And he's leaning on a girl. Should have buried him with the corpses. Forest is Real cursed. shame about your leg, oh, Lord. Give it a toss. Don't let go of your sister now. Oh, dude, I cannot wait to kill these dudes. I really hope they give us that opportunity, man, to give these dudes some swift justice for talking all that head. And look at this freaking douchebag. We have business in the Great Hall. Look at this dude's smug ass face. I mean, talk about punchable face. Go round. Move aside, soldier. I'm quite comfortable, thank you. And I don't think you're gonna make me. Where are the House Forester guards at? Where's Sir Royland at down here to back me? I guess he's already in the Great Hall. And everybody's gathering up. I really hope they give me an option to punk this dude. I wonder what's weaker. Your legs? Or this house? Move! Now! Look at this dude turn into the biggest pussy. Oh yeah, uh, yeah I'm hard, I'm tough. Talia, man, Talia needs to start throwing some freaking bows around this place. Go on then, my lord. <sighs> Let's go. It's ridiculous. You're treating them the like guests. wine guess. keeps their wits dull. It makes us look weak. Both of you, please. So you'd rather they riot? Duncan, you're a damn fool sometimes. It doesn't matter what you think. I was chosen as sentinel. My lords. Duncan and Royland, man, these two are going to be the downfall of this house. These dudes are always bitching and complaining and arguing. Roderick. My boy. Come, join us. Lady Talia, you should have told us the Lord needed help. It's good. <clears throat> it's good to see you awake, Lord Roderick. We didn't expect you so soon. The Maester said it would be weeks before you were walking, if you walked again at all. It was highly probable. I'm not here to talk about my elf. Perhaps we should get started. Yes, let's. Dahlia's told me the state of our house. Then you know our situation is grim, my lord. No thanks to your sentinel. He's been getting the White Hill soldiers drunk. It keeps them off their guard. They think you're a bloody fool. My lords, please. Oh, oh, I'm a fool. At least I was there by Ethan's side when Ramsay stole I've told you! I was keeping an eye on the Bolton soldiers! You should have been protecting your lord! Now Ethan's dead, and Ryan a hostage. And what have you done to get him back? Nothing! I am your lord. Of course. Apologies, my lord. The White Hills have my brother. We fight amongst ourselves, when we should be fighting them. We'd need an army to win that fight. And we don't have one. Not anymore. Then find me one, Sir Royal. That's no simple command, my lord. Most of our men fled after Lord Ethan was killed. And our allies are either dead or too afraid of the Boltons to help us. You forget the Glenmores. You'd be wed to Elena Glenmore already, if not for the war. And her father is no coward. Now that you've returned, the marriage can proceed as planned. The marriage? Well, much has changed. 
The Glenmores may no longer desire the Union. Lady Elena will decide for herself. Your betrothed is on her way here as we speak. Lady Elena? She's coming now! Why is she coming here? She means to pay her respects to your father. But it could also be a chance to solidify our arrangement. If she still wishes to marry, we'd have the allies we so desperately need. Their army would become oath-bound to Roderick. And we could burn High Point to the fucking ground! Yes, this marriage could be our chance. Of course, we must hope Lady Elena still wants to marry Roderick. We're talking about a marriage, not an ironwood contract. Talia does have a point. I'm not the man I used to be. You can still make her happy, Roderick. And she can do the same for you. If Elena does come to Ironrath, she'll see those soldiers in the courtyard. We starve them out, and they'll have to leave. I'd rather they be lying around drunk than setting their stables on fire. My lord, perhaps you could put an end to this tiresome dispute? Keep them drunk. It's better than inciting them to violence. Yes, my lord. Now, if there's nothing more to discuss. Maester. It's time to light the Ironwood torches. Yes, my lady. Welcome back, my lord. It's got to be back. I think had keeping him drunk is the right choice instead of him pissed off from being starved out. But one of these times I need to agree with Sir Oyland, man. I haven't agreed with him one time, I don't think, yet. Gregor last lit these torches when his mother passed. Ironwood doesn't burn easily, he told me. But foresters have a way. And now we light them for him. And Ethan? How is your song coming? Ethan always helped me with music. It's not the same without him. You're a fine musician, Talia. You'll do a great job. Everyone knows how much Ethan meant to you. I'm sure it will honor him well. About Elena, I've sent a letter to Mira. The Tyrells hold much influence over the Glenmores. I don't know where things stand between her and Lady Marjorie, but maybe your sister can find a way to help. Nope! Lady Marjorie ain't happening.